Adding size charts to your product pages is actually a very smart decision that will most probably help you to increase your store conversion rate, especially if you sell things like shoes and clothes. Hi there, I am Rehab and in this video I'm going to show you three methods to add size charts to your product pages using Shopify 2.0. My favorite one is the third one because it makes your product pages look very, very professional. That's why I highly recommend you to watch this video up until the end and to choose the method that you like the most. But before moving to my screen, there are three things that I want you to do. The first thing is I want you to like this video because by liking it, you will help it to reach more and more people. The second thing is I want you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And finally, I want to invite you to sign up to my free workshop. In this free workshop, I show you how you can create a strong, sustainable e-commerce business. I show you how you can attract, convert, and most importantly, retain your customers. So go to the description below, sign up and start building a sustainable, strong e-commerce business. And now let's get back to our topic and let's see the first method that we can use in order to add size charts to your product pages. The method number one is by using image text blocks. If you are not yet familiar with Shopify 2.0 and this huge new update, I highly recommend you to check my previous video here. You will find the link up in the screen in here. You can click on it and watch it after watching this video. It's very important to be familiar with this new update because you can use it to extremely improve your store performance and your store design. So let's move to my screen to see how to use this special section in order to add the size charts. So here I am inside of this Shopify store and I'm taking this shoes as an example. These shoes have multiple sizes, that's why we need a size chart. So in order to uh, add the size chart with the first method, I'm, I created a template, I called it shoes template, and I have assigned this template to this exact product. In here, I'm going back to my Shopify store in order to create the appropriate meta field for this section. So I'm going in here to settings, and under settings, I'm going to meta fields. And from here, I go to products. I click on add definition. And I'm going to create my first meta field, which is an image meta field. So in this method, I'm going to provide the size chart as an image. I'm going to call it size chart image. And here, I should select the file type and it should be only accepts images. After saving this, I need to go back to my products, to this specific product. And when I scroll down in here, I have now a new meta field and I'm going to click in here to upload my size chart image. After choosing the right image, you just need to click on save and we go back to our team editor. From here, you have to add a new section it will be the image and text section. By clicking on it in here, you start modifying it. So here I can either select one static image or I can select a dynamic image, which means an image that changes from product to another. And this is exactly what I need because each product has different size chart. So I'm going to click here and I will choose my size chart image meta field and click on connect. So now I have my size chart in here. After adding the image, we still need to modify this text. In here, we can add instructions related to how to measure the foot dimensions and so on. So this was the first method. Now moving to the second method, and it is to use the gallery section also provided by Shopify 2.0. Let's move to my screen to see how to do that. From here, we go back and instead of creating a section that's image with text, we are going to create a section that's called gallery or college. I'm going to remove all the sections and I'm going to replace them with one image. I click in here and I choose my meta field as a source. And now, as you can see, I have this first section and the second section, and both of them are showing my size charts. As I told you, my third method is the most professional one, and it's actually my favorite one, and it allows you to create pop-up size charts. 
So let me show you how you can create that. After saving this, we move back to our settings because we need to create a new type of meta fields. So under settings, you, you go back to meta fields, you go to products, and you start defining a new meta field. And this time I'm going to, to, to call it size chart page. After creating the meta field, we need to go back and create the size chart page. So from here, from online store, we go to pages. I have already created my size chart page and I'm going to show it to you. So I've just created a table where I have included all the information. I'm going back from here to products, to this product, and I'm going to assign the right page in here. After doing that, you just need to go back to online store and to your theme editor in order to add the new meta field. So here I am inside of my product page template. From here, I'm going to add a new block under the product information section. So this pop-up will be in here, in this area. I'm going to click on add block. I'm going to choose pop-up and I'm going to move it up here below the quantity selector. When I click on it, I can choose a dynamic source and it would be my size chart page. So now when, when I click in here, I can see my size chart. As you can see, this option gives you the most professional look. For sure, while designing your image size chart or your page size chart, make sure to be professional. Don't take the ones I have created in this tutorial as an example because I did them just to use them in this video. Make sure to create better tables to make them more organized and to maybe make them look better. Providing size charts will not only help you to increase your store conversion rate, but it will also help you to lower your return and exchange rates because people will be making more informed decisions on your store and they will know exactly the right size they are choosing and they are picking. So in this way, you will lower the possibility of having someone returning or exchanging your products. Thank you for watching this video and as I told you before, if you feel that you are not yet that familiar with Shopify 2.0, I highly recommend you to check these two tutorials on this YouTube channel because both of them will show you exactly how to use this new update. I highly recommend you to actually watch both of them. And before leaving, I want to remind you one last time to sign up to my free workshop. Remember, in this free workshop, I show you step by step how you can create a sustainable, strong e-commerce business. So if you want to create such a business, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to sign up. It's 100% free and you don't need to pay any dollar. If you have any question regarding this video, please do not hesitate to leave your question in the comment section below and I will make sure to reply to every one of you. Thank you for watching this video. See you next week. Bye-bye.